My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Legend of Grimrock 2! Okay, how do we solve this fucking puzzle? I feel like this is 100% the opener. Okay, so I go there, that flips up. And that flips down. I go there, that flips up. I go there, that flips up. <clears throat> that flips up. Upwards, that flips down, cross, up. Oh, that actually works. But then I don't know how to get back from there, I guess. We'll fix that problem when we get to it, I guess. I opened the gate, but now... Now I can't get back. Oh, wow. For the first time we landed in the water, I'm so glad to have landed in the water because I'm not taking fall damage. Uh, but I also don't know where the ladder is, so I might take deadly damage. I did just see the ladder, by the way, and I straight up moved past it. Because I'm a dumb man. Okay. I think I want to go swimming a little more in the sewers. I just check shit out for a while. I mean, what's going on down there? Who knows? Is it a secret? Is it more secret than a se Is it double secret? Who knows? Not me. I definitely don't know. Surely I kind of gave that away when I kept asking all those questions. Oh, I, d I just found a fucking shaman staff down here. That's good for casting earth-based spells, I believe. So I'll give it to you. Requires concentration too. Okay, so... Let's compare the pair. 15, and it can cast light. The special attack from this makes Poison Bolt, which will do 20% more damage, regardless. And it gives vitality and energy. Yep, that's just better than what I'm currently holding. <laughs> How could I have expected to fucking find that there? There's no reasonable expectation that, oh yeah, I should probably go diving in these sewers. That's going to be a really good idea for me. And I'm going to find something for my shaman. And I'm going to put it on my shaman. And they're going to be really good at a diviner's cloak. Oh, baby. All right, now it's damage time. Okay. Probably time to take a rest on a few of my characters. What's the Diviner's Cloak going to be doing? Energy regeneration. <laughs> oh, that's not even fair. Are you, like, I just got so much good shit from just fucking swimming around in the sewers. Take a note, kids. Swim around in sewers whenever you get the opportunity to do so. It's Ryan-approved activity. Alternatively, never listen to anything I ever say. That's also Ryan-approved activity. But if I tell you to never listen to anything I say, do you have to listen to me when I say that? Ooh. Oh, am I... Oh, I'm totally gonna kill myself accidentally by doing this, right? Yep. Okay, let's try and get back to safety. Because, unfortunately, none of my characters have gills. I think I'll check that out a bit more later. Alright, maybe it's time to check out where the mer people are. What up, mer people? Ow. Ow. Goodbye, Mer people. Nice to have seen you all. <laughs> the fuck just happened there? <laughs> just got shadow. Oh, right. This is this area. I don't know. I was like, what the fuck? Where, where, where did this come from? It's this area. That's where this came from. Let's go visit the Mer people again. This time I'm a little healthier than we last went. <laughs> 
Just instantly shat on by the fire wisps. Lovely. I mean, I think we're not going to have too much damage uh, problems from the mer people. Yeah. Okay. should probably just stand and tank rather than waste- Oh no wait, I'm not wasting charges by casting Poison Bolt. And Poison Bolt doesn't even- Oh my god, okay, I love this Shaman Star. I might actually also be increasing my Earth power just a little bit so I can use it more potently. Because it's really doing some wonders for me. I've also got to go and pick up a uh, torch, unfortunately, though. Because... Not having a torch just won't cut it when I don't have the ability to actually just summon light suddenly. The shame and staff. Loving it. Real good. Okay, time to start inspecting these walls. Not seeing anything secret of any nature. Damn. I'll keep the energy orb on me, because what if I want to use, uh, light underwater? The only way that I'm actually able to do light underwater, I think, is through the energy, right? Because the torch actually goes out if I go underwater. Okay. I have to expect there's, like, frogs and stuff underwater here. Or at least something. Because there's not just going to be a huge, vast expanse of water that is entirely safe. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is a big arena. There's gotta be something going on here. I intend to find out what it is, and then conquer whatever it is. In that order. Okay. I'm not seeing anything on these walls, though. I'm not seeing any way to get through these kind of locked grates. Which is... it's, it's not good. It's not good so far. So maybe the answer lies in those platforms in the center, but yeah, it, it has to. All right, let's go into water. You want him Uh, of course, I totally forgot what I planned to do, which is cast. Did that? Did that not work? There we go. Now we have underwater light. So here we find crossbow stuff, which we will put just in a random slot over there. Crossbow stuff not particularly important to me. I'm not seeing enemies, which is really frustrating me because there's got to be an enemy somewhere around here. They're real, like they're actually straight up has to be. There's no way that this entire thing is just safety. Maybe it requires that you get lost so that you can't, uh, can't get to a ladder and that you drown? Is Maybe that's the danger of this area? Because otherwise, holy diver. Oh, hey, cool. I got an achievement for, I guess, going underwater. Because basically everything in Grimrock has teeth. Everything hates you. It's kind of the synopsis of Grimoire. And I don't like seeing things that break the order or the trend of the established world. In the established world, as I just said, everything hates you. So I've got to find how this fits into that establishment. What is it about this water that hates me? Nothing, evidently. Huh. You know what? I'm I'm slightly ashamed. Wait, hang on. Let me light the torch back up. How do I light the torch back up? Just re-equip it. Oh yeah, re-equip. Okay. Yeah, I'm quite saddened. 
th there's... Oh, no, wait, I stole the torch from that. Okay, so that wasn't an empty slot. Yeah, I'm quite saddened that there was actually nothing there. How am I going to get in here? That, that's a pretty interesting thing to me. Because it looks like I'm probably going to teleport in there and then use that to open it. So that I can leave. Yep. Okay. Uh, th there's apparently nothing even worth going for on this side. Who knew the mer people were that boring? That's the area I couldn't get to. Why is that shaded like that? I went there, didn't I? Or was that blocked? Hmm... Go ahead here, go ahead here. I'm just looking for new areas that I can go into. Okay. So, a new area that I can go into is underwater over in this direction. This is unexplored, apparently. Maybe I come up, uh, in the... Oh. <gasps> Gold key! Secret found. This is a beautiful little oasis. What, 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 <laughs> what in this oasis is about to attack me? Are oh, there any, like, cool, we found a nice little, uh, nice little oasis secret, yay! Now what happens? <laughs> That's always my question. There has to be something nefarious. Something horrible going on, right? There's an etherweed. Fine, I'll take that. I don't know whether I want to use my gold coin there, uh, my gold key. That opens... That looks like an arrow? Yeah, that looks like it's four. That's an arrow. That's a, sorry, a arrow, a bow. It looks like a bow, maybe. Uh, I don't use a bow, so if it's a bow, I'm going to be really sad if I actually do get... Oh, it's not a bow, it's a shield of some kind. But I do have a knight, so I want a shield of some kind. I don't know. Do I use my golden key here? I did it. Please be really, really good! Uh, please justify my use. <laughs> I just caught a fish! <laughs> Crystal shield. <laughs> you can catch the fish that are swimming around. That's cool. Uh, okay. Crystal shield. <clears throat> Wearer gains immunity to the petrify condition and with concentration 2 can heal. Do I think it's good enough? How much of your mana did that use? It's almost 50, so I wouldn't be able to use special attacks of anything else. Also, it just reminded me that that's... That shield should be there right now. Uh, we'll see how I feel about that. As we move into the future. <laughs> Love that there's the fucking fish there that you can eat. I'm gonna feed everyone not fish though. Just because I'm a horrible person. And you can eat turtle. There we go. I like that I found it. But I feel like... <sighs> I feel... Like it was a bad thing that I got tempted to take. Start. What the fuck is going on there? Okay. Okay, there's apparently more to this area than I thought. There we go. Cool. We got out. We made it out alive. There's apparently more to that area than I thought there was, so... We'll go down and check it out again. Oh! 
potion. There, that's that's a good one. Potion of vitality. What does vitality specifically do to us? Increases poison resistance. Uh, who takes the most damage? I, I mean, I guess it's probably foot screwily, so use it. There we go. You've now got a bit more health to work with. What's this? Oh, okay, apparently that just opens that. So I must have already triggered it at some point accidentally. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. I'm... I'm pretty enthusiastic about a lot of the things that just happened there. Uh, as subdued as I might sound, I do feel pretty good about a lot of that. What's going down this path? Let's find out. There's a path in this direction that I have not traversed and it does not appear to be blocked in any fashion. Oh, there's a note. Notes are good. There's also a map that I just totally neglected to read at some point. Enter at your own risk. Where was the thing that I actually picked up from the other thing? Two group. Do not disturb. Enter at your own risk. Oh! <coughs> Save. I'm so fucking dead, y'all. Do not disturb was on the other side of this, I believe. Enter at your own risk is on this side of this. Uh, as, as, as far as I'm concerned, with all of my knowledge of video game logic, that means that there's something horrible in here that almost certainly will kill me. I'm now locked in. That key, I imagine, I'm only going to get when I defeat. Are you fucking kidding me? I'd be pretty enraged too if I were dead. <laughs> I'm not so certain I'm gonna get through this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. I like that the game did give us a bit of warning and I like that it required me ignoring that warning fucking multiple times in a row before I got dealt, you know, the killing blow as a result. <laughs> I mean, fair's fair. I was warned multiple times not to go in there. <clears throat> let me just, uh, like, the other warning was on this side. Hang on, let me place a note rattling boss okay you know that actually reminds me uh you should also probably take this empty box now that you cannot be over encumbered that reminds me i probably have a severe interest now in actually i'm gonna quickly change this stuff I probably should have a severe interest now. Actually, I'll take that out of your hands because I'm not in darkness. I should probably, god damn it, Ryan, say your words, use your words. I should probably now have a severe interest in using uh, the Horn of Summoning to summon the summon rocks and then kill them because I'm much, much more powerful than I was when I first fought them. Let's do this puzzle as we recall how to set it up in a fashion that we can get over there and trigger both of those. But then we need to... There's something we need to do to save our own sh shins when we're over there. Oh! Oh, it... it mirror it oppositely? So, hang on. Let me see if I can mirror it in the opposite fashion by going... No, that'll kill me. I move there and then everything goes down. Okay. 
So now I'm gonna try and reset myself. If I move forwards, I'm fine. If I move upwards, I'm dead. No, I'm, I'm not dead if I move upwards, but I will have to move back to where I am currently. Hang on. What if I reset everything exactly as it was? Oh no! All of the fucking puzzle reset. Oh god damn it! The puzzle reset itself as well. That's that was the oh god damn it. There's also a little slight amount of oh god damn it for the fact that I failed the puzzle. <clears throat> Then across, up, across, forwards will kill me, go back this way, go back this way, go back that way, go back that way, I guess. Up. I mean, I still afford myself positions to move into by doing this, but they're not particularly helpful. Actually, no, it totally is. This is how I solve the puzzle. Goes down. I go up there. I go up there. Ta-da! If this is a mimic, I'm gonna be really mad. It's not. <gasps> what is this? Heavy two-handed weapon. <laughs> Ignore 25 points of enemy armor. <laughs> Cooldown is six seconds. That's le that's a second less than that. But it does less damage. What are you talking about? But it ignores 25 points of enemy armor. Massive, powerful blow that pushes back enemies. It's the knockback. Uh, it's such a pretty weapon. Okay. Let's get out of here now. And I just failed again. But I'm going to move into the center so that I fall into the water so that I don't damage myself on leaving. Excellent. Let's get back up to the surface land. I solved that puzzle finally and it only took me 12,000 episodes. Okay. The way of the snail. Boop. And let's wait. Is there? Is there something moving out here? Oh no, looks like it might be moving in there. I think I saw a shadow move. <sighs> the way of the snail has to mean go slowly, right? Snails don't move backwards. So it's not move over them backwards. How slowly do I have to go before I can go, yeah, I don't think this is working. How do I know when it is working? How about I rest here? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> but now I have to face a fucking... Yep, do it. Okay. Come on. I want to see if I can push you back. Wow, that does no damage. I mean, I guess it's not meant to do an incredible amount of damage. That's not the point of the uh, strike there. It's supposed to knock them back, but it doesn't even seem to be doing like anywhere near enough to justify. I'm glad that I poisoned my enemy at least.
I'm getting very quick on the trigger with moving in front of my enemy. Which I've constantly said is a stupid idea, you shouldn't be doing it, and then I keep doing it. Yeah, this, this weapon is actually not as good as this one. Even slightly, not even slightly. Yeah, 85 damage. The other one was doing way less for some reason. Oh well. I didn't have to pay much to get it, so I guess I don't mind that much. Boom! Gotcha. Okay. Let's see what's going on around this area. Nothing so far. Anything over in this area? Secret-wise, that is. Oh! It's not a secret, but it is nice. Okay. Having solved all of that... Did I just fucking lock that again? I totally did. Having solved all of that... I feel like going back to the summon rocks is actually a really good idea. So I'm going to go into here to get back to the beach. Uh, actually, I'll end the episode by resting on this. <clears throat> I'm going to end the episode by saying that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Legend of Broomrock 2. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It doesn't mean we get my content down to you people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on Legend of Broomrock, both 1 and 2, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.